Hey guys, welcome back. This is MD and today we're going to talk about proficiency of the weapons and how to increase them fast. So yeah, so we have nine weapon types or just nine ways because we have dual wielding and single hand sword which are somewhat same. But yeah, in total we have nine of them and the max points for each proficiency is around 1000. Of course there's a trophy for 5000 proficiency points and as you can see i've been mostly using dual sword the one hand sword and slightly bows and two hand swords the thing is the higher the proficiency score the less point you'll be getting you know so the more you use it of course the proficiency will increase but when you reach a certain point around in the 700s or the 800s then it will be very tough for you to earn uh, points for your proficiency even a 0 0.1 is very difficult uh, to get so I'm just going to show you here, so I'm just going to equip my dual wielding weapons and you have already seen my points in the dual wielding so I'm just going to fight this monster as you'll see the log, the battle log is on and I'm actually getting nothing, not even a 0 0.1 uh, in the proficiency so it's really tough uh, to get them so let me just, uh, what's it called, uh, change and uh, change the weapon type I'm going to go and uh, check for something let's see yeah I can see the daggers I have 15.7 uh, in the daggers so if I pick up a dagger as you can see let me just pick up anything the dragon crest so, okay so 15.7 now I'm just gonna use it on the same monsters as you can see the other weapon that I had the dual, dual sword my bone was high the proficiency was high blah 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 and this weapon is new I have not used it as you can see 15.7 the proficiency is but you can see I'm earning 1.7 uh, proficiency in some of my hits like 1.5, 1.6, 1.7 so that's a lot that's really really a lot so the starts is always uh, so fast but the more you learn as you can see now I just went by uh, 5 points or more just in uh, within a couple of uh, seconds so yeah, so the earliest stages or the early points are very very easy to get, especially when you when you almost reach 500, then it's gonna be tough. The amount, which is the the 700 points in the proficiency, is for almost more than 100 hours of playing. So so yeah, uh, I try to like do use other weapons like rapiers and the bows and and, and such and such, but it's really hard. As you can see now, I earned a lot of points. So now I'm gonna switch. Uh, to uh, a two-hand sword. As you can see, I already had around uh, 200 points or 300 points in the uh, two-hand sword. So let me just use it on this monster. And you will see that I will earn points, but it's far uh, less. As you can see here, I have 256.1 uh, uh, points in the proficiency. So I'm just gonna attack and use it here. You will see that I'm earning uh, points, but still they are not that uh, great they're not 1.7 or 1.6 like the dagger but they're still I'm getting something I'm getting around like 0 0.5 0 0.6 such and such the good thing about earning proficiency points is that I it does not have to be cared though I can pick, pick up another character uh, or, or a party member and use them or control them and I'll be earning points so as long as I'm controlling a person I will be earning points it does not matter if it's Kirito or not as long as they have the specific weapon. For example, if I want the one-hand sword, I can use uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! And I will earn points, proficiency points in the one-hand sword. If I use Swords Liana, for example, I will be earning points, proficiency points in the two-hand sword. As you can see, the characters that we have, the main characters or the main heroines, most of them have all of the weapon types or the other proficiency types that I want to complete, except for dual wielding. So for example, like, let me just uh, pick up Sword Liana for now and let me just uh, show you like this is my proficiency around 257 points which I earned just right now. So my proficiency is that and if you just uh, click R2 you'll see Sword Liana is somewhat similar to my range. So let me just add someone else. Let me just add uh, Leva uh, into the party because she's uh, one uh, handed, uh, she has a one handed sword. And if I look at her proficiency in the one-handed sword, let me just look at mine. So mine is around almost 800. And you saw that I was not earning anything. But so Tlien, or sorry, for Lifa, 
is almost 100 and something, almost 200. So it's very low. There's a big difference. So now, let me just control uh, swiftly Liena for the 200 sword. You saw that I was getting around like 0.3 or 0. something. But if I use Swift Liena, I will be earning more points. By the way, these points count. So I'm increasing my points in the uh, in the skills that I was going in the proficiency list, as well as I'm increasing sort of cleanness, uh, skill or the proficiency points as well. So they will count. As long as I'm controlling the capture, it will count. Now I'm just controlling Leafa. As you can see, I'm earning a lot of proficiency points. Even though when I was with Kirito, with the dual hand, which is a one hand sword as well, I was not earning anything. But now, since uh, Leafa had lower points or lower proficiency points and I'm controlling her, I'm earning points and you can just go back and forth and check or check what I had in the one hand sword range uh, before and after using Leafa. So my recommendation is in this regard since uh, you earn points faster when your points are low so what you can do is you initially use Kirito and or the main character and you just try to gain as much points as you can until you reach a point where you're just getting 0.1 or something like that. So when you reach 500 or more proficiency points, then I recommend choosing a party member who has the same uh, what's it called uh, weapon type and use them. So it will make it faster. So for example, like well, let's say one hand sword, I will go all the way to 800 proficiency or 700 proficiency, blah blah blah, and then I will use someone as Leafa to continue it to 1,000. And we earn more proficiency points if the enemy or the monster is of higher level. So I'm in civilian mountains and I have this uh, cluster clamp and I'm not actually fighting the other clamps. I'm just immediately gonna go to the cluster. You cannot defeat the cluster until all of the other uh, clamps are, are, are already like defeated. So this is a good spot for you to fight off a monster and air proficiency point without the monster dying. So what you can do in this case, immediately go to a map and go to a cluster, which is of high level. You can actually check the levels of these uh, these in the uh, what's it called in the quests menu, and look at it. For example, like now you can see this is my one hand sword uh, for Kirito, and this is the one hand sword for Leafa, and I'm gonna be using Leafa on the this cluster. The cluster will never die off, so I can just keep hitting all I want, and I will be earning points fast. So now, since I already have around 800 points uh, for the one hand sword, I'll be using Leafa for, for like a, a half an hour or an hour or so, and I will easily get to 1000 uh, proficiency points. Then, I will be using Kirito again by himself, and I'll be using uh, the two hand sword until I reach around 600 or 700. Then, I'm gonna switch to Sword Liena and continue or just complete it off later on. So yeah, as you can see, the, the points I'm earning with Leafa are actually being added uh, or just being counted. But as you can see here, so Tlien is actually stuck inside the mountain. Or like both of them are actually stuck. So let me just get out from here slightly. Let me just get out here a bit and I will come back. But yeah, like I said, so that's what we need to do. So everything counts as long as you're, you're controlling the character your proficiency points will count towards your overall proficiency so just use Kirito and play the game normally if you just want to play normally or if you just want to increase the points fast then go to a cluster without defeating the clamps first as it will not die so just keep spamming the button just get yourself busy with something else I don't know like drink something or watch something else while, while smashing the square button and have a lot of like increase your attacks and dexterity as well as your health region and you should be fine you will not die the other monsters like the crab that I have it will not be able to kill me and as you can see the level of the the cluster is high as well so I will be earning more points and as soon as I reach the 700 or the 800 I'm gonna switch to another character which has low proficiency points and I will continue or complete it off so yeah these are the the, the things that I wanted to uh, talk about Actually, what I try to do next is, let me just show it to you now. Or actually, before we move to the next point, let's see what we have. So these are the skills that I recommend, especially the accuracy and everything. And you can control it. You can just give all of your party members the same skills so they will deal what's called more hits 
by the way, the more hits we get onto the monster, I think this uh, we get more points for the proficiency. So it's better to to raise your accuracy and the dexterity. So I'm just gonna show you what I, I'm just equipping, as well as the health region, so you don't die. Basically, when you're just smashing the square button while watching something or playing something else or anything that you're doing, so the health region is is actually important. So as you can see, I have equipped myself with this uh, combat skill where to where I raise my Accuracy, so sword dance, just customize it to your liking. Then I have the Hokai passive uh, for the accuracy, as well as the high precision uh, machine for the accuracy as well. Then you can use the dexterity, which is the mental focus. So these these three are passives along with the the sword dance. Then I have the health region passive as well. But yeah, you can just uh, check and mix and match to whatever uh, of your liking. Uh, these were my uh, my uh, uh, build for my character, uh, as well as by the way, you can increase uh, your stats with your accessories or anything that you like. It depends. So yeah, so as for the uh, the monster itself, like I said, the higher their level uh, from you, the more points that you will get. So you can just depending on your level, just choose a cluster that is above your level slightly. So you just don't die, but still you get a lot of points. So since I can, uh, I said that uh, whoever you're controlling will give you proficiency points. So I actually went and uh, and recruited someone uh, from or uh, recruited an avatar from the online, you know. So just another uh, a player avatar who has a dual wielding. Since I said that, since uh, you can only get points if you're controlling another character. So I was like, let me just try to find someone who has dual wielding and I will try to control them uh, to earn points. And sadly, uh, I went to the skills and most of them already had like high proficiency or like a high, very high proficiency. But regardless, what I did is like I tried uh, to work it out. Uh, so I tried to like find someone who has, uh, who has like low proficiency points and everything else. But sadly, it did not work. So yeah, it's a waste of time. As you can see this character here, uh, she, her level is very very low. So her proficiency uh, for the dual wielding sword is low as well. So there's a high chance for her to die if I'm, if I'm fighting this cluster. So for the, uh, someone who's like level 20, I recommend like fighting a, a cluster which is level 30 or something. But yeah, let me just, just go here and let me try it. So this is another player's avatar. Even though that's uh, she's a, a dual wielder, uh, you'll see that I earn, I earn nothing. So yeah, so only the main heroines or the main characters will work. So you have to you you have uh, someone uh, who's gonna help you complete to 1,000 points with all of the weapons except for the dual building. So you have to do dual building by yourself completely. For the others, you can just work it out until you reach 700 or 800, then continue uh, the rest with another character. So I believe if you reach around like 600 to 700, then that's enough. You just switch uh, from creature to another character and continue. The online uh, avatars, they will not work. Nothing. Even though I tried to like kill this monster so that the judge level does not die, still it did not work. So yeah guys, uh, these are it. So these are the fastest way to get the proficiency actually. So find a high level monster which is higher than you. Uh, use the weapon with Kirito by himself. Go all the way. Uh, to 700 or 600 points then switch to a party member who has the same weapon type and Continue it all the way to 1000 so as thanks for watching thanks for liking subscribe to our channel if you will and Follow us on Instagram and Twitch and Twitter as well guys. Thanks for the amazing support and stay awesome